beautiful. Not even waiting for the triggers. Get out of here, Boros. Get freaking out of here. Trying to bore the heck out of me. But you were gotten by the meat hook machine gun. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matt Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Yes, there's not been a live stream in the last few days because I had to go to some doctor's disappointments. And yeah, it was doctor's appointments. What do you expect? Uh, I didn't have the time to stream. I barely had the time to make a video for today. But here it is, my friend. So don't you fret. It is freaking here. Also, the tickets have finally been announced for Vegas uh, for Vegas for the MTG uh, 30. So if you're going there, let me know and please, please, let us play some Commander together. I would appreciate it so much. I will be playing Commander three days straight. No questions asked. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the old man token hammering. Today we're playing some good old, very, very freaking nice Orzov. Token control. Yes, we have only like two creatures in here and the rest is just token makers and Control we of course have the shambly boy. It is so important in the early game if you're going up against or uh, against bore us Having a blocker, you know that you can maybe even sacrifice the deadly dispute get into your doom scar a little bit faster or whatever is just super freaking important so Use it. Use the Shambly Boy for as long as you can. It's only like a month and it will be gone, so you will be missed dearly. So, and the other one is the Edgar. That also, like, kind of is an artifact that poops out tokens. So here it is. You get a vampire every single upkeep and then the Edgar transforms and gives all of your other vampires plus one plus one. That means you can have an Edgar out and the Edgar's coffin. And once the Edgar's coffin transforms, it turns into an Edgar that is just super, super nice. Well, if you have two of them out. So, then we have to, uh, you know, make even more tokens. Wedding announcement gives all of your tokens plus one plus one and gives you a token every single turn until it flips. And we, of course, have the best token maker right now, the Wandering Emperor and the Love. Just slam it down, giving you some tokens, giving some card advantage or some removal, whatever you like. And it can even pump your tokens even freaking better. So yeah, that is super darn nice. It gives him a first strike as well. So hey, the Wandering Emperor will be the new freaking uh, Planeswalker that people will be using forever. Just like the love has been since before. You know, the Wandering Emperor has become that. But I tell you, in the next rotation, the Wandering Emperor will be the new love. You will see a turn for Wandering Emperor in every freaking deck. So, there we have the Rebel Rousing. This card is super nice in this deck. If you have two or three of these out, oh my lord, you are almost guaranteed to win the game just with your tokens. Because, I mean, it makes you a token for each creature that attacks in. That is super freaking strong and I love it. And uh, yeah, you can even play the card for free as soon as you have five, uh, 10 or more creatures. That will be hidden away with this. Usually that's not that important in this deck, so take whatever you don't really need in your deck right now. Maybe there's Love Believe It, then you can take it. Maybe there's a Wandering Emperor, then you can take it as well. Maybe there's another Edgar. But for the rest, you know, we would like to have our removal in our hand and stuff like that. So this is just here to give us some freaking tokens. And then Shabwam! Meat Hook freaking Masker. And they're all freaking Gianzo. Easy as freaking pie. What is the rest of the deck? Well, we have two Rite of Oblivion because we can use it to, you know, sacrifice one of our tokens. Maybe even our Edgar. To make, you know, something of them disappear for freaking ever. Which is super good. This will be the new Vanishing Verse in the next rotation. And we have the Vanishing Verse, of course. Then we have the March of the Red Sorrow. We can take care of whatever creature, artifact, enchantment. And we have the March of the Red Sorrow. Did I say Red Sorrow? We have the March of the Otherworldly Light. And we have the March of the Red Sorrow. That can take care of creatures, give us some life. Which is super darn important as well. Just giving all the life is just super darn important, my friends. And yeah, Doomscar, our board wife of choice, together with the Meloniac Massacre. People have said, if I could have a Meadog Massacre in the Mono Red deck, I would. And trust me, I would freaking do it. It is just such a good removal. It removes, it gives you life. <laughs> 
What else do you want? It is the comeback machine against so many decks. They just give you the GG early, and then there's nothing for them, I tell you. Nothing. Then the Deadly Dispute, just super good with the Shambly Boy, all of our tokens, and of course with the Edgar. We could even sacrifice the coffin. If you have to go that far, sacrifice the coffin, throw yourself two cards, turn the game around. If you don't have to, well, that's even better, you know? But hey, these vampires are also pretty A-OK, -okay, so you're getting one of those as well, so you can sacrifice the vampire if you really have to, and one win or turn around the game. So yeah! Like, land-wise, we have 1A Ganjo, which will also be here to stay, 2 Hive the Eye Turn, which will be Gonzo, and the Takanuma, which is also here to stay. It is pretty darn sweet, you know, you discard this, bring something back from your graveyard, quite a freaking heck not. It is a land. Worst case, you just play it as a land. Easy peasy, lemon freaking squeezy. Then we have 2 Shadow, uh, Field of Ruin, two sh uh, 4 Shadow Sanctum, and 4 Bright Climb Pathway, 4 Swamps by Mr. Me Sang, which is just, oh, delicious. Look at this art! Oh my lord, look at it! Mmm, so good! And the planes by Rosemary Valera O'Connor, which are just equally as freaking good. But you know, this is only a 9 out of 10, this is a 10 out of 10. So yeah, if you still can, still get those swamps, they will be freaking amazing. So once more, if you are in Vegas, let me know down in the comments. I would like you very much to join you there, give you one of my very, very amazing Matches Malone zombie tokens. And yeah, maybe if we're gonna get the time, it play a commander game or two. So thank you all so very freaking much. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you in those token massacre games. Alrighty, here we go. We're up against AJ Smile. I hope I can wipe that smile right. Move your smug face. We're going first. What is this, Grimace? Okay, I like it. I really do. We're going with the uh, Shamley Boy here. And hopefully we find a land or some kind of, you know, draw cards, whatever. Oh, it's kind of a mirror match. Alrighty, right away. That is questionable to say the least. Like, I have not encountered a freaking, uh, oh, it's angels, it's angels, okay. Well, let's get rid of that sucker right away. I'm not even attacking it. There's literally no need to. Raiding a treasure. One man's trash and so on. Okay. So there is a wandering emperor coming their way very soon. Very soon. Oh, they just have another one. Yeah, questionable, but okay. But all right. You know, we do have more removal here, so it is A-O-freaking-K. And we're doing it uh, right away, not even chilling. Not even freaking chilling. So next turn we can bring down the loaf, or we just wait and get the uh, Meadog Massacre down. We will see, we will have to see. Maybe we're also going with the Wandering Emperor, but I think the loaf here is just very darn good. Okay, there's the one-off. There is the one-off. Okay, that is just a meowsing. Thank you very much, game. I like the land here, I really do. So, it's angels versus the absolute freaking darkness. The absolute darkness. So, they will be attacking my Loth here, which is absolutely A-OK, -okay because we can then just get rid of that Legion Angel, you know? And uh, draw ourselves a card, get Wandering Emperor down and stuff like that. So, they will be playing another... Oh, the Inspiring Overseer. Interesting. Pretty darn freaking interesting. Are you willing to give up your Legion Angel here though, my friend? Are you willing to? They are willing to. Okay. Well, I mean, there's literally no reason not to block here like this. Unless they have the boon of safety in hand, which I really doubt they do. I really doubt. Okay, they don't have it. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Oh, it's getting more and more freaking beautiful. Okay, I mean, hey, I like it really much. I really freaking do like it. So we're bringing down the Doomscar here. We're keeping up our uh, Wandering Emperor. I mean, hey, you know, they, they really are digging for a land here, which is absolutely A-OK. -okay. I understand that. I really do. But hey, once more, bringing down the Wandering Emperor here. Not even chilling. If they want to exile it, so be it, you know. So freaking be it. We're in absolute control. We're drawing cards. They don't. So, hey, oh, that is still all right. I like it a lot, I have to say. Okay, I'm all righty. This is still super freaking fine with me. Do you have the March of the Rag Sorrow? Oh, this is even 
freaking better. This is even freaking better now. Okay, so March of the Wretched Sorrow still works out very well. Uh, I'm not going for a Doomscar here. And yes, I'm giving up my treasure, but that is... You know, what do, what do you even want from me? What, what do you even want from me? And next turn, with the Ride of Oblivion, we can get rid of the other one. And we still keep our Doomscar, which is amazing. Freaking amazing. So go ahead, you do that, my friend. You freaking do that. Okay, alrighty. And uh, Pain 3 here. Going back to uh, freaking 23 life. Up until now, they have not achieved anything. Anything but sadness. So AJ, smile. I really am wiping that smile off your face. That smug smile off your face. Uh, it is a sacrifice. So that means if we get in there, we can make ourselves a samurai now. And uh, that also means that we can... Okay, they really don't like it. That is fine. That is good. Okay, okay. Oh, this is even freaking better. Even freaking better. Okay, getting rid of the uh, youthful Valkyrie here. So that we can make sure that we can get ourselves more freaking spiders. Because we're at the point where I want some more spiders, you know? I mean, they're stuck on freaking three le uh, four lands. That must can also I be a little bit painful. Just a little bit painful. Okay. Marathi. Marathi. So, here we go. Ending the turn, of course. So very soon we will be looking very darn tasty here. And I like looking tasty. The Liza. Oh no, the horror. The freaking horror. The rabble rousing though. That is so beautiful. So freaking beautiful. We just overrun them with sheer freaking numbers, you know. The Wandering Emperor, yes please. Yes please. Okay, so they cannot block this, you know. But we rather keep one back, don't we? Now we don't care about our Loth anymore. Loth did what she had to do. Loth freaking did what she had to do. Do we get him here? Two, four, six. No, we don't. Okay. On the card. But we will be getting them next turn. If they attack in here, that is freaking fine by me, you know. Because we will be getting our Wandering Emperor down. For free, even. And that is just a meowsing. Oh, yes, it is. you'll miss me. The Righteous Valkyrie. And the Youthful Valkyrie. Okay. Alrighty. All of this is super freaking fine by me. Because I am now doing this. Getting even more creatures. Yes. Uh, exiling that stupid thing. Run away. And goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. I hope you liked your stay. And we will see what they're doing. But right now we're looking pretty fine, you know? Pretty darn fine. I mean, hey. I mean, hey, you know? All is still freaking good. We will just, as I said, overrun them with freaking numbers. And uh, drawing a card here. Oh, even more rebel rousing. Oh, my lord. This is Sparta, man. This is freaking Sparta, man. Okay, I mean, hey, once more. They will be attacking my little thing here. That is still all right, you know. We can still freaking wipe the board here if we have to. And maybe the rebel rousing will give us even more tasty stuff. We will have to see. We will have to freaking see. But it sure will be something amusing. Okay, so give me a... Uh, a ganjo cannot do anything with that so we have to kind of take this I mean hey, once more this is so much unbridled freaking power look at it freaking look at it yes I will be second this now hopefully find something to work with that is indeed something to work with all right <laughs> Okay, do we get him here? Oh my lord, that is so close. That is so freaking close. So, let me see here. Uh, we are getting rid of the uh, Liza here, of course. With this. And now do we have enough? We do have enough. Oh, baby. Oh no. Oh, come on, AJ Smiles. I was just packing the machine gun for you. I was just... 
packing it up. Oh, the Tommy gun was here. And we did have enough mana. Get out of here, AJ Smile. You ruined this monster. Alright, we're back in Diamond Tier 3 where we belong. After record trying to record two other decks where I lost every single game. <laughs> we're going first. What is this Krimis? Once more. Oh wait, that was very close game. We also do have the March of the Red Sorrow, so I like that a lot, I have to say. I bet that we're up against Boros, yeah, no surprises here. Neon so ever. We will keep this Shambly boy. You never know if they have a haste creature. You never know if they do have it. Well, I told you. I told you they had it. I told you they freaking had it. Okay. All right. They are attacking in. That is beautiful. I like it. I really do. We're making ourselves the treasure. And now for one mana. We're getting rid of the creature and gaining some life. Because why the heck not? Okay. And, uh, you know, we do have the wedding announcement here. And I will freaking play it. No questions asked. And then a turn afterwards. I will be getting down my rebel rousing. Mmm, beautiful. What will Boros ever freaking do? So, they're getting in with the reckless storm seeker. It's a little bit annoying, but surely not the end of the world annoying. I really have to say. That is absolutely fine. Go ahead. You do that, my friend. You freaking do that. I will start my supremacy now. Exactly freaking now. Okay. Because we're getting two creatures this turn. Two of them. Oh my lord, what the freaking heck is this? Okay, I mean, hey, at least we're getting the creatures down. You know, that is at least something already. And uh, I will give him one more hit. Because I really want to get three more creatures here. Okay, the Thundering Raiju. The question is, which one do we block next turn? Well, once more, we do have the March of the Red Sorrow. And now we even have the freaking Meadok Masker. Ain't that a beauty? Ain't that a beauty? It is a beauty! It really is! So we're getting in it for three. Oh, Boros. Oh, freaking Boros. Um. I honestly don't want it to turn uh, freaking daytime. That is a uh, nighttime. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can do it for four here. Getting rid of you here. Okay. And going back to 14. And now our creatures will be getting bigger and stronger. Oh, that is even more beautiful here. Even more so. So we will see what you're doing. What are you doing here, my friend? We will get you very soon. So you should be very careful. Another Reckless Storm Seeker. Okay. And the Bloodthirsty Adversary. Is that it? Did we win? Two, four, five. I think we won. I think we won. So that is 9 damage. I don't freaking care at all. Not at all. Okay. So, we are getting in there. Oh, Boros. Oh, Boros. Oh, freaking Boros. I hope you're ready for this now. I hope you are. Because there is the freaking machine gun of the center. I mean, getting rid of your creatures. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Not even waiting for the triggers. Get out of here, Boros. Get freaking out of here. Trying to bore the heck out of me. But you were gotten by the meat hook. Machine gun. Get out of here. Simple, rustic, meat hook machine gun. We're up against the worm. It's a German word for worm. You're going first once more. What is going on today? But sadly, I cannot. Keep, I can't keep this though. All right, I will be getting rid of the march, sadly, but I kind of have to. And I will be bringing down my little uh, Skelly boy right away. Shambly boy, ahoy! Shambly boy, ahoy! Okay, are you another Boros deck? Are you just another Boros deck? Well, we'll have to find out. I'm not attacking in once more, you know. Same reason as before. Oh, you're not. Okay. But you have a counter spell. You don't have a counter spell. Beautiful. I love it. I really do. Okay. So we will see what they're doing here. Oh my lord. Even more land. Okay, we have to attack them then because I really have to find something that isn't a land. Well, the Wandering Emperor is exactly what I want to see here. Exactly. So they are the uh, gold span dragon into freaking everything kind of deck. 
We're keeping it. Okay, another freaking land. Unprofessional game. Unprofessional. That is 5 in 11. 6 in 11. I don't appreciate it. Another ride of oblivion. That is good, though. I like it. So, whatever they do here, we do have an answer, you know? The unexpected... Oh, no. Oh, hell no. Oh, please don't. Please, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Are we dead? There's a high chance that we're just freaking dead here. There's a high probability that we're just freaking dead here. It's a very high probability. That doesn't help us at all now. So yeah, we might just be dead next turn. We might just be dead next freaking turn. Seems unreasonable, but in my eyes, it is very reasonable. But we would see if we're dead already, you know, we might be. Okay, I think we are. I think we're dead here. I think we're dead here. They will now slam down the thing, and then we're done. So they have all the treasures they need to do it, they have them all. Oh, just too slow. One turn too slow. Just one singular turn too slow. Here we go. 43 to the face. I told you. I'm not even... I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it, man. They had two of those. Come on. I, I just... Come on. Come on, deck. Get out of here. So yeah, that is a deck that I will not miss at all. Because if you're not playing blue, you just have no chance against this deck. I mean, what is this? What the heck is this? Is this real life? Where all you have to do is to play blue? Otherwise, you just screw it against this deck forever. Opponent's going first. I mean, hey, we do have the march here. We do have the wedding announcement. We even have a freaking rubber rousing. Let's try. I mean, it's a nice hand. I like the hand. I have to say. I have to say. And they mulliganed, so they did not like their hand. That is good. And like, you know, we have the power of the beautiful lands. Hey! Hey! What do they even want from us? It's mono freaking black. That is good. Vanishing Burst likes that. Family boy. Tenacious underdog. Okay. All right. Let's get rid of it right away. There's literally no reason not to. Literally not so we ever. All right. Wedding announcement will be good next turn. You have another one. You don't. Beautiful. Beautiful. But we do have the wedding announcement. And that is also very darn nice. Okay. So where is case we have to sack one of the creatures to draw ourselves from cards. We will have to see. Oh, mono black. Really now. Freaking really now. Okay. I mean, hey. You know, still all right. I did not draw land here, but that is still a okay. Am I... I'm digging for a land. Even if I don't find one with the treasure, I will be able to sacrifice uh, to destroy their loaf. That is already something, you know. There is a land, but not the right color. Hey, 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 hey. What you want from me here? What do you want from me? We will see if they're playing a loaf. Maybe we're just playing our own loaf here. They're not doing anything. Okay, that is super questionable. So we are bringing... Well, we're attacking in first. I wonder what they have, you know? I really do wonder what they freaking have here. Okay, bring it down the load. So if they do have a board wipe or whatever, we do have a freaking answer in hand. With, uh, well, you know, by making ourselves more spiders. Not in hand. We don't have an answer in hand. But we do have something. And we will be making more spiders. And I like making more spiders. There's the meat hook. There it is. Are we getting rid of our... Uh, let's not give him the life. Let's just get rid of our uh, Wandering Emperor here. We'll get rid of the Midog Masker. It might seem a little overkill, and it most certainly is, but hey, you know, we're gaining the spiders here, they're not gaining any life, so I'm okay with that decision. I really freaking am. 
Bringing out our own Mito here now. Okay. And uh, bringing out more spiders. All right. Next turn, we do have the rabbit rousing. But that is very nice. And if they want to do something, the Saur and the Murphalurus. Are you drawing? You are drawing the Mad Lad. Okay. All right. I do like that, I have to say. We're going with the rabbit rousing here. And uh, getting ourselves the wedding announcement. Why not? Why not? Okay. The field of ruin. So we're slamming down on the Sauron here. And once more, you know, if they really want to wipe the board here, go ahead, my friend. You try real hard and they scoop. Of course they scoop. Trying to defeat the master of mono black once more here. I'm even wearing black. Look at me. This little Yoda is also the master of Mono Black. The master of Mono Black I am. Yay. So have you finally seen the resilience of the deck? We're up against Nakalin. This little grape here, that is the cutest thing. Opponent's going first. I do not like it, but we do have a removal. So hey, so hey oh. You know, we even have the March of the Brad Sorrow. We have the March of the Otherworldly Light. So let's keep it for now. Pretty darn certain that we're up against Boros because they're going first. Yeah, I kind of knew it. I kind of freaking knew it. Alrighty. The worst case, we have to, like, you know, get rid of our deadly dispute, maybe. I told you it is Boros. Did I not say these exact words? It is Boros. Okay. Getting rid of the bloodthirsty adversary. go there you go all right i mean it's not exactly what i want to do here you know but it's boros going first so what do you want me to do what do you actually want me to do so we will see if they do have the perfect plan here it does look pretty darn perfect up until now it really freaking does but hey i don't fear this little hopeful initiate at all I really don't not a hopeful initiate well that's that's good but not good enough not good enough at all. All right, bringing down another white source here. We will have a wandering emperor very soon, you know. That is very darn good. Play with fire. Please don't play with fire, my friend. That is very dangerous. You should not do that. You really shouldn't. Okay, that is still A-OK -okay with me, you know. I really don't care about that too much. All righty. Burn my face, my friend. Burn it all. We do have the Wandering Emperor here now, so that is pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Okay. How much more do you have? You have nothing! You have nothing! Oh, beautiful! Oh, freaking beautiful. They have nothing. They just have nothing. So, they might have another Royal Eruption, though. Oh, no! Not the Brutal Cathar! The horror! The horror! Because I do have this now, so yeah. Good luck, Buttercup. Good freaking luck, Butter freaking Cup. I'm even making myself another samurai. All right, go ahead. Go and they skip. Oh, Boros, going first did not help you at all. Token massacre is upon you. Get out of here, Boros. I hate you with a passion. Alrighty, so things are not even going up that bad. I mean, we beat two Boros decks. We're up against Incog Moss. It's an Incognito Moose, is what it is. Alright, opponent's going first. We do have the March here, and we do have the March here, and we do have the Ride of Oblivion. Let's just hope that we're uh, up against a creature-based deck, and we're happy with our life choices here. We really are. Okay, they're mulliganing. And it looks like we are. Okay, that is perfection. All right, so we have all this removal here, which is super nice. We do have the march for later, which is super nice. So yeah, let's just wait what they're doing. Right now, they're not doing anything. That is super nice. I like it a lot. Uh, let's not attack in. You never know. You never freaking know. Are you a discard deck or are you just a Boros deck that didn't find anything? Well, that's peculiar. Peculiar to say the very least. Okay. All right, what is going on here? I don't trust you at all, Incogmos. 
Are you really Boros deck that did not find anything? Is this not what's going on here? That would be very darn weird. Okay. Oh, okay. You are a, uh, you're a Hinata deck, aren't you? Freaking aren't you? Okay. Well, that's also all right with me, you know. A Hinata deck that didn't find anything is also very much all right with me. We're bringing down the Edgar here. There's literally no reason not to. Whatever they have, we do have the right of oblivion here. So we could even destroy the Edgar, you know, if we have to. Okay, destroy it, please. Destroy it, my friend. Or sacrifice all of your cards with the March of the Otherworldly Light. That is also very much all right with me. The Aura Reanimator deck. Oh, no. Oh, please don't. The horror. The horror. Okay, I mean, hey, you know. Um, what are we doing here? Are we keeping them from ever doing anything? I mean, hey, you know, right now we're winning, so hey, so they really are a reanimator deck. That is interesting. We do have this march, we do have the march of the otherworldly light, we can do it for one, two, three... Okay. Let us see what they find here. I could do it for one, two, three, four. Can I do it for seven? If I get rid of the other two, I have to. I'm too lazy to do the math. I'm just doing it like this. Okay. Is this enough? It is enough. Oh! Oh no! Don't tell me it ain't so. Okay. That is beautiful. I tell you exactly that it is so. Exactly like this. Okay. Then we're uh, getting rid of our Shamley boy here. We can just play the other one, you know, but maybe we can find something good here. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. We'll have to freaking see. Okay, we don't. We didn't find anything good. But this is still pretty much enough, you know? Pretty much enough. All right. One, two, three, four, five. We can do it for another seven. Which wouldn't be enough, so let's just hope they don't have another invoke just this year. Oh, look at my Edgar. Look at my Edgar. You thought you'd come, come in here with your reanimator. Invoke justice. I invoke freaking pain on you, my friend. Get out of here. Edgar is in the house. Mm. Alrighty. I just thought I muted my microphone, but I haven't, so I was a little bit confused for a second here. We're going first, I like it. We do have the uh, wedding announcement. All we need is one more land, or two, you know, and we're super happy. With one, we're already happy. With two, we're super happy. We're up against Beards. Yo, Beards, oh, it's another Boros deck. Come on, people. There is other decks you could play, you know? There is some other decks that you could play. Alrighty. Let us see what they have here. I mean, hey, you know, they're going pretty strong already. It's the Luminarch Aspirant. Okay, that is the worst that could happen here. Just the freaking worst that could happen here. Okay. Are we, uh... No, we're not taking our things yet. We will see what we're doing. Right now, we're just trying to go ham here. Just trying to go freaking ham. I mean, hey, what are they even doing here? Playing the, the, the Cavalier right away? Yeah, that is what they're doing. Oh, the Brutal Cathar. Okay, that is all right still. We can at least get rid of one thing here. At least one thing, which is already pretty darn good. And maybe they're not even doing anything. I will just bring down the Ektar here. Uh, because that's like the only thing I can do. So yeah, let's bring it down like a clown on the ground. Okay, all right. So, my friend, do you have another Brutal Cathar? I mean, we do have the March of the Red Sorrow here, you know? That is already pretty darn tasty. And we will see what they're doing here. We will just have to see what they're freaking doing. I think there might be a, um, you know, the thing, the, um, yeah, the Thundering Raiju coming down. I just hope that we find a freaking land here. If we do, we're super happy. The Valorous stands. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Really? The Valorous stands. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you putting it on a Brutal Cathar? I hope you are. Okay, please land. Come on, game. Give me a freaking land. That is all I'm asking for. Just one land. Just one land is all I'm freaking asking for. Come on, game. Well, that is another wedding announcement. 
That ain't no lamp, though. But hey, we're bringing it down anyways. We will be uh, sacrificing our loth here. And see what we can do. Just see what we can do. I mean, hey, we're still uh, protecting ourselves real good here, you know? Really darn good. There is the thundering ride, you know. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. I mean, hey. What you gonna do about it? What you freaking gonna do about it? Um... We're taking a lot of damage here. A lot of freaking damage here. But we can still kind of try our darndest, you know, to protect ourselves. So yeah, let's do it. Let's freaking do it. Okay. We could still find a land here, you know. We could still find a freaking land here. Okay. We have to block like this, like this, like this. That is six. Okay. Still have to throw away the loth. There's sadly no way around it. Cancel. Push the wrong button here. So. We kind of still have to hope for the board wipe, don't we? Yeah. We kind of have to. Still getting rid of the Luminarch Aspirant here. We are still alive now, with one life, you know, <laughs> that ain't much. Oh, come on, game, no, no, man, oh, man, oh, man, I just want to show them good game. We didn't get, we got an untapped, we got a tapped log, oh, jeez, not like this, man. <sighs> Not like this. Oh, that was brutal, man. They had it all and we got in tapped land. Oh, man. I mean, hey, it's just Boros doing Boros things, you know, hey. The tapped land was so painful, though. Oh, my sweet lord. So freaking painful. All right, I mean, hey, if we're up against Boros here once more, we're going to have a tough time. They mulliganed, so I'm pretty certain that we... Oh, my, they mulliganed once more. Maybe we have a little chance here. Maybe we do. But you know, right now I'm not too happy with them going first here and potentially being Boros. Please don't be Boros. Please don't be Boros. Let me play my land. Okay, there uh, are uh, their enchantments. They are one bajillion percent enchantments. Okay, I like where this is going though. Because we will have the wedding announcement. And they will have nothing, I tell you. Freaking nothing. Alright. Well, this is just darn good. Are we going with the double white? Okay, all right. I like where this is going right now. I'm not afraid anymore. We, uh, we're going first now. We are the ones going first now. Okay. Oh, you're that kind of dag. All right. Okay, yeah. I mean, hey. Mulligan down to two charge throughs. That is absolute... Easiest game of my life. Easiest freaking game of my life. I'm not even complaining. We take those. I would have had a tough freaking time against this deck, so we just take those get out of here. Cannot believe that this is game number nine, you know, and we're uh, six, uh, we're two uh, to seven here right now. So hey, and I like this hand. If we're up against an aggressive deck, we're oh we're up against is it? Okay. Oh we're not. We're only acting like they are. No, we're not. Okay. I mean, we do have the Rite of Oblivion here, we do have the Wedding Announcement, we do have the Doom Scar, so I'm not too afraid. A little bit, but not too afraid, you know? Just the right amount of everything is fine, you know? Just the right amount. But we will be bringing down a Wedding Announcement here. We do have the Saga, we do have the Wandering Emperor, so uh, it's okay still. It is still a o freaking k I want him to have some more creatures. Okay, that is enough creatures. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, alrighty, and we're doing this now. And then next turn we can just wipe the freaking board, you know? Just wipe it all. Wipe it all clean. I like that. I do like that. We could also... And then afterwards we do have the Wandering Emperor and everything, so it's still A-OK, -okay, you know? Still absolutely A-O freaking a -K -O. So, maybe I should have played a White Source in the Kami of Trans Science, okay? That is also all right. Yeah, you do that. That will be one of the last things you're doing here. I can promise you that much. 
Just now I will take control of you, my friend. So, uh, yeah, Doomscar, get out of here. Get out of here. So we're making ourselves a little creature. This will become an egg, which is okay. We still have a wandering over here. So worst case, we can just sacrifice something, you know? We can just do that. And maybe we even draw land here. And then we can play our Spider Queen. If it's going to be a freaking, uh, you know, tap source, that would be terrible. But hey, well, that ain't no land. But it's still a okay to me because we can do this now. And now we can do this. Get rid of you here. Uh, and make ourselves a little uh, treasure so that uh, we can, you know, play our loaf next turn. I would rather play the loaf than anything else here, I have to say. So our creatures are getting bigger and stronger. And so will our loaf. Okay, you goon. Trying to fool people with the it field deck here. That is just so amazing, I have to say. I'm utterly impressed. Utterly impressed by that. Okay. Are you attacking in, though? You are the mad lad. Okay. Alrighty. You do that, my friend. So, we can bring down the loaf here. If they do have a meat hook massacre, though... We're a little bit sad, but that also means that we can play another loaf afterwards. So let's just do it for now. Okay, so they need a land and a meat hook massacre, by the way. So do they have it? We will find out how to get it now, don't we? Freaking don't we? I mean, they're screwed with lands. That is super painful. Also, you Gung. It's such a weird freaking writing for a German. But I bet that it sounds like a, like, I don't know, like a Turkish name, maybe? If I am correct, please let me know. If I'm wrong, oh, I'm not even sorry. So, you Gung, what are you doing? Are you here now to bring pain onto me? Or will you get the pain right into your face? Well, we will have to see. Because I will be gloriously going to a freaking 7 to 2. Oh, yes, I will. All right, why are you doing this? Why are you freaking doing this? Well, I don't care. I will take it. I will freaking take it. So, that is uh, pretty A-OK -okay to me, you know? Our loaf is growing bigger and stronger here. We can even bring down another loaf if we want to. If we have to, we will do that. So, what is your grand scheme? I don't know why they attacked. Let's be honest. I really have no clue why they freaking attacked here. The Gloom Shrieker. Oh, no. Oh, please don't. The horror. Not the Gloom Shrieker. Of all things unholy. Not the Gloom Shrieker. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay. I mean, hey, that's all right. We just threw the perfect answer here. And now we're freaking use the perfect answer here. One, two, three. Let's go. Yes, we're losing our spooters. But we're making ourselves some new spooters here. Alrighty. So, Gloom Shrieker, eh? So try to drain me, my friend. Go ahead. Drain me with your little Okiba Raid boss here. Whatever it is, is Okiba Rackin' a Raid. That is all. Oh, you drew land. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Alrighty. Buddy, if they want to go ham here, so do we. We will also be going very ham very soon. Okay, they're going to level 2 here. And they're playing the little Okiba Rackin' a Raid. That is so freaking fun, buddy. Show freaking the fun by me. All right, let's draw a card here. Another land. It's all right. It is all right. We are attacking in here. I mean, we do have the Wandering Emperor. So whatever they're doing, that is A-OK -okay with me. Come on, attack me. Do your worst. Do your worst, my friend. Oh, they have the Hive of the Eye Tyrant now. Oh, no, the horror. Please, not the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Whatever you do, please, not the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. I have a freaking wandering emperor, my friend. I do have it. I have it all. You can slam it all into my face. I have it freaking all. Come on. Come on, you goon. It's the last game. It's the last dawn. It's the last freaking fight coming your way. The binding of the old gods. Oh no, please don't. The horror. Look, this animation is <laughs> way too cute for what it is, I have hands. to say. This animation is way too freaking cute for what it freaking is. So, do we get him here? We sure as heck do. We sure as heck freaking do. Oh, token madness, get out of here. The binding of the old gods could not save you. You thought you could go super aggressive on me? You could not. 
Getting these eight games in is always freaking sweet. I freaking love it. I really, really freaking do. It is just, mm. It means that attack is so fast, so furious, that you just win so freaking hard. The people will just scoop, you know, three minutes for a game. Hey, that is pretty darn sweet. And uh, that is more or less what we got here today. Three minutes for a game. I mean, hey, there is some decks that just utterly destroy our, like, you know, our idea. If they have, like, you know, a farewell, there's not too much you can do about it. Also, if you are still here, just give me a rebel rebel, like, you know, a rebel, like the rebel rousing, and then the rebel, like a rebellic, rebellic person. Is that how you say it? You don't know either? From the word rebellion. Thanks for the tip. So, yeah, that is what I would like you to put down in the comments, to rebel rebel, in whatever order you would like to put it. I don't think that you speak them out differently, so here it is. My mouth just does whatever it wants anyway. So, yeah, also... What my mouth now really wants to do is to thank all these beautiful people on this beautiful list. You can't even see my hand here. There was a hand here, I promise. All these beautiful people on this beautiful list. So thank you all so very freaking much. I really appreciate that you go on the XMI supporting your channel with your hard-earned cash. There's so little things I could do without all of you. You really helped me keeping the lights on here today. I said on here at MTG Malone. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so very freaking much. And if you want to support the channel, Consider subscribing to the channel, leaving a like, sharing with, uh, the video with a friend. We're on our way to 14,200 already, and that is bananas. It is this month that we went to 14,000, and we are already on our way. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so very freaking much. But if you want to go the extra mile, hey, there's a link to the Patreon niche. There's a button below every single video to the membership that you can check out. If you would like to do that, I would appreciate it very freaking much. And remember that if you're looking in the mirror tomorrow morning after you wake up, or before you go to sleep, that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.